guys, I am filming in my car again, and I was inspired to do this video because I saw my makeup sitting next to me in the passenger seat. And the reason I have it in the passenger seat is because I run out the door and I don't do my makeup at home. I leave myself very little room to take a shower, get up, brush my teeth, take a shower, take care of Ava, get my coffee, and run out the door. That usually happens in about 10 minutes. I know it sounds crazy and it is I should really leave myself more time and I'm trying to be better at it but I'd rather sacrifice my makeup time for my sleep time so yeah definitely love my sleep but I am going to show you what's in my makeup bag for work video and I thought that would be fun I know I look really tired and I am exhausted I don't think any amount I mean you could cover up a little bit but I don't think any amount of makeup and if you do think there's a product out there that could help me with my under eyes greatly appreciated but I don't think any amount of makeup could really mask how tired you look I don't know I just there's the bags and the darkness I usually can tell when someone is tired they probably, probably bleh, people at work probably could tell that I'm exhausted and it's just I haven't been sleeping well and you know blah 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 so this is my makeup bag and so the product I'm going to show you, you're going to be like, you can't fit all that in there. And you're right. The brushes stick out. And I do bring my brushes with me. Um, but let me, I'm going to start with my, I'm going to start with in the order of, of how I do my makeup. And the first thing I do is apply my foundation. This is the Revlon Color Stay mixed with the CoverGirl Outlast 3-in-1. That's been my absolute favorite combo since I made that video on it and you don't have to check it out I just mixed it and came out with a color that I thought best matched me uh, because this one was too dark and the CoverGirl 3-in-1 was too light so I love it I think it has pretty good staying power and I apply it with my Sigma Angle Top Kabuki and this is just a brush that I grabbed I was a really big fan when I first got these brushes. I got all three of them, the flat top and the round top. The round top is my favorite one out of all three. I've never had problems even after washing them several times and the hairs never came out. The round, uh, the flat top one, I've had problems with this since day one and I probably should have returned it but I was like, oh, let me give it another try but I've never been a fan of that. I just think the round top is better just because it fits like in the crevices and everything uh, this one is okay and I do use this to apply my concealer which is the Revlon photo photo ready concealer in medium and I'm almost done with this I'm excited I'm planning on doing or I hope I do a video on my makeup empties which is more of like a hit pan kind of thing so I'm excited about that and then I apply my powder, which is the L'Oreal True Match Powder in W3. And this is just a really good, reliable powder to go to. Oh, and the Revlon uh, Photo Ready Concealer is a very good, reliable go-to as well. Uh, this is just a very good powder. It's been my favorite. As you can tell, I hit pan on it. So excited. And I apply that with my Walmart HD brush, which is... Which is a very good brush I know it looks really bad and I kind of painted I kind of painted I painted the handle this really weird gold color because I had glued the handle back it did come off but I think it's more my fault because I got water into the barrel which is never a good thing for your brushes uh, but super soft say what you will about Walmart as a company but these brushes are amazing and I would recommend it if you're looking for affordable brushes all, almost all the brushes that I've got from Walmart from the HD line it's in the clear like plastic uh, container whatever you call that packaging sorry it has been very good and next I have sorry I'm like people are like I feel like people are staring at me when no one is staring at me at all uh, next I use my eyelash cur oh no sorry I'm a step ahead of myself next I put on my blush and this just happens to be the NARS orgasm and the blush of the week last week it was max Wonder Woman blush in it's one of my favorites and I don't know the name uh, Aphrodite or Mighty Aphrodite? It might not be Mighty Aphrodite. That might be the movie. It has Aphrodite in it, I know for sure. Uh, but this is a color, and it's a pretty good... It's a, another reliable product. Um, it might be a tad overrated, I think, and... 
I like I like Deep Throat a lot better than this one. Uh, but this one is pretty, and obviously it's good enough to wear out, so that's what I use. And this is the brush I apply with. You can apply the blush with your fingers if you're in a rush. And sometimes, I did that yesterday. Uh, but this is a Sonia Kashuk brush, and I don't think they sell this one anymore. But um, this is super soft, and I like this, if you do have it, I like this for applying really pigmented powder blushes. That's Because this is not dense at all, and it moves around, and it just doesn't pick up a lot of product. Like, with the NARS blush, I have to really get it in there to get some color. So this is good for a really pigmented blush. And then I curl my lashes. This is the Shu Yamura one. Hands down my favorite favorite eyelash curler. It just I think if the way that it's formed, it just fits to my eye type. So if you have Asian eyes as people call it, I think that this is the best one. I've tried a lot. I've tried Sephora, Shiseido, Revlon, Elf. Um, a couple of others and this I always keep on coming back to this and whenever I try other ones I'm like oh why am I changing from this one I do have to get the replacement things I wish there was a way that we could just clean them off and not have to worry about it there should be something invented like that and then for mascara I use the Maybelline the rocket volume it's just the one the newest one that I have and I probably have to get rid of it soon I probably wouldn't repurchase this even though it holds my curl, lengthens, and gives me volume. I just, I think the formula, I'm allergic to it or something because I have always, whenever I wear this, I feel like my eyes are super itchy and they are red. So I am prone to allergies. It could be a little bit of both. I probably will get the CoverGirl Lash Blast. That's just my absolute favorite and I'm always like thinking about it not always thinking about it but whenever I put on mascara and for lipstick I usually tend to go for colors like this this is the Revlon lip butter in pink truffle this is a uh, your lips but better sort of color and I don't have to fuss about it I don't have to worry like I don't need a mirror and concern about it going out of off off my lips like onto my cheeks or something and I like this because if it wears off, since it's similar to your lip color, it really doesn't matter. And now I can wear these because my lips don't get chapped. When I first wore these, my chip, chips, my lips chipped terribly. Like it was just really disappointing because I have bought so many of these, but now I can wear them. And that is the, that is all the stuff I bring with me. I know it seems like a lot, but it's really not. I'm going to show you. See, that's all the products together and I would say my tip for making yourself seem more awake at work is definitely curling the lashes and putting on mascara it just opens up the eye and I have to do this myself so note to self is to bring a nude eyeliner or a white eyeliner so I could put it on the waterline I do think that helps and yeah so eyes and blush I think are probably my two things that I would do if I really had to limit myself to just two things and I don't know I know I look exhausted and I really really am not getting enough sleep not eating right not exercising and I have to change that but I I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll stop rambling I'm sorry it was so long but it was kind of like a like favorite sort of I guess because I'm using this or no reliable products of the month I guess or whatever title you could think of that matches this video I hope you guys are all doing well and I will talk to you soon bye